Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're good now, Bruce. Please, Selena, I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <clears throat> Doctor. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. This can't be real. Someone was angry. Lovely. <laughs> Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for a rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors.
as you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not, but you're the next best thing, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? Just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, no, you, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. Oh! You're 
I don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this! Wrong! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. If that's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked it. <laughs> shh, shh, Lewis. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... it's not time for meds, either. Beat it. I saw the cookie bill, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's, it, it's just... It, it's his it's it's voice! It's driving me nuts! Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. Your style, kid. So, what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? He cheats 
every time. He cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but... This one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double crossing, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television! Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorists. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead! You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy <laughs> made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. She 
surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> can... Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? We will meet again. I promise you that. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn it! Call security! GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> Oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. One moment. Yeah. Seems you have a visitor.
Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, well, that can be arranged. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. 
Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Thank mm -hmm. you.